Wow, so here I am, my first day in Bali, and I head out to find some lunch, and I ended up at this really cool place called the Pyramids of Chi. So those are giant, like, sound domes shaped like a pyramid. They actually have some sound healing sessions going on there right now. Maybe you can see. Uh, no, you can't. Um, but I am having a liquid iron juice in this really cool table Oops. with this sacred geometry. And I am incredibly pleased, incredibly pleased. This place is so unbelievably beautiful. And I love that I actually ended up here by accident. I just set out on my motorbike and I just started driving and I actually thought I was going the other direction, but I ended up here. And I'm really pleased to go with the flow and to have it take me someplace so beautiful. And something I was thinking about is this concept. Maybe you've heard me talk about this before. Wherever you go, there you are. You can go by train or car, but wherever you go, there you are. And what that means is also, you can't escape yourself. Whatever, wherever you go somewhere, you're bringing you with you. Every relationship you go into, you bring the only constant between all of the people you've been with and all the places you've been is you. So what that means is that if you have sadness and discontent inside of you, if you have anger inside of you, if you have judgment inside of you, then no matter where you go, you're gonna find something to be sad about, something to be angry about, something to judge, something to find fault with, right? And so I believe personally for me that so much of this journey is about really just coming to, to this peaceful state inside such that no matter where we go, we take that peace with us. Can you hear the drums? They're, they're doing some awesome sound experience inside. I wish I could take you into the main building here, but they're playing music, so I, I can't for copyright reasons, but it's really cool. They have all these cool pyramids. Uh, so, uh, it felt so good to get back on the motorbike. Oh my God. And just to, there was definitely some fear of like, wow, I haven't done this in a while, but, but then it was like, ah, oh, just settling into just the sense of freedom and relaxing. And in fact, that's the game I've been playing this, this whole time while I've been traveling is I, I stop and I ask myself, how can I relax even more right now? Like, where can I bring more relaxation into my body, my mind, into my experience? Because I don't know about you, but I have a lot of experience having experiences where I'm like clenching up and tensing and holding this tension in my body. And it's a completely different experience to relax. Mmm. Oh my God, wow, holy cow, wow. This is, um, it's spinach, pineapple, bee pollen, spirulina, and some other just like really. Mm. So yummy, wow. So it's easy to look at a beautiful place like this and be like, wow, paradise. But I will tell you, last time I was here three years ago, I was going through a really dark time and I was, yeah, just suffering a lot inside. I was very angry at my ex-boyfriend for some money that he didn't pay me back and just how things ended between us after all of like the big expectations that I had had. And I was just carrying all this like, this heaviness and this anger and this sadness with me and this darkness. I was here in this beautiful place, but I was full of so much darkness, so I couldn't really enjoy it. So when I was passing through immigration on my way through the airport when I was arriving, the immigration officer, they always ask you, why are you here? What are you doing here? What are you going to do here, ma'am? And I said, enjoy. I'm going to enjoy. <laughs> I think he had a good laugh at that. But I was like, no, I'm going to go play music at the waterfalls. I'm going to go around on my motorbike. I'm just going to enjoy myself. So, And the thing is, is that when I decided to go to Bali, I realized that anything that I think I'm going to do when I get to Bali and it's going to, you know, be what I'm looking for, I have to practice it wherever I am. So I practiced enjoying myself. When I was in Guatemala, I practiced just making music. I practiced um, being in a peaceful state of mind because there's no place that you can go that can like fix where you are and like give you the thing that you're searching for. It's not out there, it's in here. The outside can give us beautiful manifestations, but if you don't do that inner work, no matter where you go, you're gonna find more of the same. 
So wherever you go, there you are. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you soon. I'm hoping to get my, my internet card soon. And when I do, then I'll be able to do live videos. So for now, we're, we're doing these static videos like the good old days, so. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, dear Lord, thank you so much. That's so good. Alright, guys. Bye. Over and out. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. That's some good stuff, I tell you what. Yeah. I'm excited when these sounds healing sessions are done. I've had my lunch. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make some music. It's going to be good. Alright, bye.